to now a 16 year old on the North Shore is facing several charges after a school fight. The Tangipaho Parish Sheriff's Office says it's one of two school fights on the North Shore. WDS reporter Ariel Brumfield is live as police work to dispel some rumors about the fights that's circulating online. Ariel. Well, ladies, the sheriff's office says they had fights at Ponchatoula High School as well as Hammond High School yesterday, but officials say they really need the help of parents to get these kids to de-escalate the situations in a healthy way. Fist fights on high school campuses. Like I said it just results back to that, you know, it says it takes a whole village to raise, you know, one child. Stirred commotion on social media and across the North Shore Thursday afternoon. A 16 year old charged with second degree battery and other charges after fighting with another student at Hammond High School. During the fight, police say one student fell into a bulletin board, causing a cut to their head. The kids have issues and they bring from off campus to on campus uh, and have these issues with their friends and families getting involved in it. That's causing chaos. News of the fight spread like wildfire on social media with many rumors of the student being stabbed. We're told that didn't happen. A few licks were passed after the laceration, but it was quickly put to rest. Just a few miles away, police say Ponchatoula High School also saw a series of fights on campus throughout Thursday. Ponchatoula was two different incidents that happened on, on, on campus that morning. There was approximately four individuals fighting in the commons area, and <clears throat> later they had two students involved in a, in a physical altercation in the front office. TPSO is asking you help de-escalate situations by not running to social media with false narratives and teach students how to resolve issues peacefully. Well, we just encourage them to get the whole story before they um, spread false information. And always, I just say, encourage the kids to do the right <coughs> thing, to make right decisions to, to help resolve a lot of these issues. But the most thing I say all the time is pray for our children. And to see the full list of charges that that 16-year-old now faces, visit our website at WDSU.com. Reporting in Tangipahoe Parish, Mario Brumfield, WDSU News. Thank you.